Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. By the way, I'm Eduardo Golfan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you on how to open external file using hyperlink in Microsoft Access. To give you an idea guys, let me show you my sample. Here in employee information, let's go to official docs or official documents. So this is my attachment of my files guys. So I have an attachment name and attachment link. The attachment link, this is clickable. So once we click this, um, it can open different types of file extension. It can open uh, pictures, it can open Excel file, PDF file, notepad, and PowerPoint, and even website, guys, it can open. So I created like this so that I can maximize my time. So for example, I, I want to open my passport, the picture of my passport. So no need to go to uh, Drive C, Employee Documents folder, and click the picture. So here, in this database, in just a matter of seconds, once we click this, we can view our file. So we will try this one, guys. Um, passport, but this is not really the passport. So since this is a sample, guys. So let's try one, two, three. Okay. So this is the picture of my one and only beautiful wife. Okay. Close this. And then Excel file sample. This is it. Close. And then resignation letter. This is PDF. So... Uh, some file contains viruses. I know this kind of file, so click OK. So, PDF. So, close. And also Notepad. So, sample. And my website. It can open also website. So, this is my uh, website. And by the way, guys, um, <coughs> sorry. Inputting the link in this attachment link I use the browse button so if you don't know how to create a file dialog box or a file picker you can watch my video I will put the link below but uh, now I have to uh, to show you a sample so for example today is January 1 so this is the first video I've created for my Edsel Jan channel so I'll put a picture of my uh, son Edsel Jan uh, Edsel injury okay Browse, let's go to download and I will this one open. Okay, so it is being saved in Drive C employee document and the file name is Excel Injury. So once we click this, okay, this is it, guys. So in just a matter of seconds, we can view the file. So, how to do this? If you are still interested, please watch this video until the end and please subscribe if you have not yet. Subscribe. This is the sample subform, guys. So, we will try this. Let's go to design view and click on this attachment link. And go to on click. Click these three dots, code builder, and click OK. So here we go, guys. So this is a very simple code, just one line code. And then later on, we will add the uh, error handling. So just type application that follow hyperlink. And then the name of the field, which is the attachment link. So me that attachment link okay that's it let's try guys but save okay okay this one so let's try open document here we go so for my website okay and also a PDF file okay so, um, we will add a error handling, guys. This is also important, especially if the file is not really exist or the file is deleted. So, we can get an error for that. So, we will add a error handling. But don't worry, guys. This is a very simple code. And if you don't know how to create this one, you can watch my video also about the messages. I put a error handling also in this um, video so let's 
uh, like for example on error go to like for example error one and then okay that's it let's add error one and then okay so error one so we will put also error one so if this is error one it should be error one so message um, like error so this is for error that and select this description and bb information okay and uh, the name is like for example uh, system error this is just a sample guys and don't forget to put exit sub so the purpose of this exit sub guys is to uh, stuff the function of this attachment link so okay again okay it's working and then let's browse another file uh, trial sample example this one I don't know what kind of picture is that open okay and when we click this okay this kind of picture so I think guys this is enough and I hope this video helps you a lot and if you uh, if you have some questions uh, about this video feel free to comment it down below uh, I'll try my best to answer that one and if you want to learn more about Microsoft Access then guys please consider subscribing this channel if you have not yet subscribed and also uh, click the bell button so that you will be notified for my upcoming videos that's all guys thank you and see you to my next video